Hey guys. All right, just got out to Arlington. I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, I don't know. I saw, I was watching YouTube the other night and I was, I ended up clicking on Steve Kennedy out at Conroe, throwing a swim jig on stuff like that and it just looked super fun. So I decided to come to Arlington, see if I can get a swim jig bike going. Hopefully I can. I know that there's a lot of grass and stuff on the lake. So I'm gonna go and throw that in that grass and stuff and see if I can't get anything on that swim jig. But hopefully, I do as good as him, but I mean, he was fishing a totally different lake and stuff like that, but the swim jig bite looked awesome. So that's what I'm hoping that I can do out here at Arlington, but I guess we'll see how it goes. Stay tuned. Fish number one on the frog not very big not as big as I thought they would be but we're gonna keep at it bad it's a keeper I worked the whole bank with the frog only had that one came back with a swim jig caught a little bit better quality one hopefully they get bigger than this go fish number three not bad i watched him come out and just smoke it ripped it over the grass and it i let it fall down and i saw him just shoot out of the grass and smash it but there we go it's a nice solid fish swim jig again Change it up, put a chatterbait on. Little guy. But, still got time to catch the big ones that we're gonna try. Like I said, I changed it up only because I was fishing in some wind and stuff like that, and I wanted something with a little more vibration on it. I'm probably gonna end up putting the swim jig back on just because I'm more in a protected area now. But uh, we're gonna make a few more casts with this, and then we'll go ahead and switch if I need to. Not a bad one on the frog. The bad thing is I know the quality of fish in this lake and the ones I'm catching are nowhere near that. So hopefully maybe it'll get better, but I'm content with those for now. a good one on a frog this is the quality I'm talking about choked it but that's well he's not the quality I was talking about but still decent all right I'm gonna put him in libel just in case we get just in case I get five or so
big one on the dam throwing this crankbait. I don't know if the other, if I got video of the other one or not, but you'll see it in the picture afterwards. He's about the same size. We're gonna put this on a live well. All right, guys, I gotta do that again. Sorry about the audio. Man, it's windy, I know. I'm sorry, but uh, two big fish, lost two big ones, caught a little one, so we're gonna go ahead and run down that again. And hopefully catch a couple more big ones is all we need. And I'll see, hopefully we're catching some big ones. my part right there today god that sucked trying to boat flip ah too much line out the eagles there's no eagles the bald eagle the hawk the red tail hawk there we go that's a big one if it's a fish dude yeah it's a fish swimming right there that I just lost. God dang. Alright, well I was hoping to get another one instead of ending on a big lost fish that would have been the biggest of the day, but that's the way it goes today. Gotta call it a day for now, but we're gonna go ahead and head in. I'm gonna show you a picture of the big ones that we caught and we'll see y'all somewhere tomorrow. Alright guys, here's one of them. Here's another one. Here's another. 
Here's my little, my little uh, frog fish. But there you go. All right, we're gonna take a picture of all these and then release them, and I'll show you that video here in a little bit. All right, guys, just got the boat in storage from Lake Arlington. It was actually started off as a very bad day and ended up being a very good day. So, I mean, the last hour and a half was really good. Everything that I caught was on that right there. It was fun. But, um, yeah, I mean, when you're catching them that, that fast and furious, I mean, shoot, it's like if you lose one, you just keep going and keep casting just because that big one's probably going to hit. But... Man, that was a fun little trip to Arlington. Shad spawn was going on. That's why those fish, there was like, I don't know, every 20 feet or 20 yards, I mean, that we go down, a, a blue herring would fly and move. And they would just keep rotating, rotating all the way down the, all the, way down the dam. So I knew that there was something going on there and I figured it out because I ended up catching one of the big shad that were there that they were feeding on. So there's a shad spawn going on on the, on the north end of the lake. Now, I don't know if that thing moves down or up, but because the lake is upside down, so I don't know if it starts working north like every other lake or if it works from the south because the south is the shallow side, but there we go. I'll probably end up being out there again. I wanna get out there as soon as I can and fish that in the morning instead of in the evening, but that was fun. But uh, all right guys, that's how I did it.